Right, today's video is going to be the Caldera Cone. Right, previously you had to use a plastic cup that came with the cone to store it in or even transport it in your backpack. Of course, if you, in your backpack you could also lie it out flat between your sleeping mat to give it a bit of protection, but a plastic cup that it came with would be enough. But now we have this food grade plastic container that you can buy. It holds the cone, your fuel and your stove all in one and it comes apart quite easily. What do you get in your Caldera cone for your money then? Well, you get your food grade plastic container holder, which you can use for a cup, as a cup and a mug. Your burner, fuel bottle, and of course, the cone itself. Previously, I don't know if you can see it, you had these little dove tongues that would fit into the slots here. And really is that simple to put it together. Now we have a dovetail system that slots together like that. It's meant to be more secure, more stable, but we'll see. Right. So we have cone, see here is the gap for handles. This is a Mai Tai. It fits in like that. Fairly stable, fairly robust. So I'll put that there. Once more, similar on the for the Snow Peak 1400. Slots in, handles through the side. Robust. Okay, I've put 20 milliliters of meths into the stove for this cone. I'm going to be using the trapper mug one here. going. And that's it. So I may put enough water in for about a brew up into each one. Only using 20 millilitres. Try to stop it. Using the mug here. mug's worth of water there. So there we have it. What I haven't got on top of the trapper one, which I think it would benefit from, is a lid. Um, I'm going to just make one from Bob, that material that Bob sells at backpackinglight.co.uk. Um, as you can see, they're pretty, not very interesting to film. Um, I can, you can start to see smoke coming off the water. Um, let's see. You can 
feel the heat coming from the top. But apart from that, it's a very boring stove to watch. There's, you, you see no flames licking up from the sides. Um, yeah, it's just sit back, watch it shed any breeze or wind. All the heat's being funneled up towards the pot. And that's it basically. The dog wonder. See, who thought dogs were vegetarian, hey? With a lid, I think 15 millilitres is going to be more than enough. That's a rolling boil on 20 millilitres. How's that doing? About the same. And this is almost too hot to handle. And it's not quite at the same stage as the other. Well, you need a tea towel. if we get a shot in at there. Not much fuel left there. Could put it out. That's a rolling boil. I should note, let me zoom back out. Yep, for something like this, let's try that. You will need something like a tea towel. Because the handles do get hot. And let's just bring this round. See, we're at the boil, rolling boil there. So, 20 millilitres of fuel, more than enough. And if I put it out, I could save up a bit of fuel, but 20 millilitres, more than enough for making a brew, 15 actually would have done it.